Hi, this is going to be about, you guessed it, hypocrites. So here's a synopsis of what we are going to cover in this video. Please leave comments below on hypocrisies that you can't stand. Look, nobody is perfect. It's better to try and fail than never accept a challenge. However, I'm so sick of the flaming hypocrites. Pet and animal lovers who eat animals. Cafeteria Christian clowns who are fake at following their fake hoax. Climate criers who overpopulate with a bunch of kids and eat animals, which is horrible for the environment. Fake feminists who rape animals daily for their milk. And much more. And eggs. Female birds, periods, with a lot of cruelty and exploiting female animals' reproductive systems. Anti-socialists who are suddenly silent when you talk about the socialist food system. Like their government-funded factory animal meats that are heavily subsidized by the USDA farm bill that we need to defund. And how childless who don't overpopulate are fine tons funding socialist public schools. And much more. World hunger groups who eat animals, again, that are fed most of our crops and are pooped out, thus promoting massive food waste or hunger. So-called fake pro-lifers who only care about embryo removals and hurt its own cause refusing access to free birth control. Free birth control saves taxpayers tons and lowers termination rates up to 40%, as shown in Colorado. I can go on. It's sad and pathetic lip service for most. Many suffer from groupthink, and I'm going to show you in this funny video. First of all, this hat is probably uh, more polarizing than the maggot one, or mega Trump hat, just for simply being honest, meat-free, child-free, God-free. Honest and decent, actually. So, you can see there's over a thousand likes, actually got up to 2,500, but... Tons of comments, too, and unlikes. <laughs> so, let's start with the covering the Godfrey Trump. The T in the cross stands for Trump, the most persecuted person, according to him. Yes, many Christians support Trump. The T stands for <laughs> the cross now in Trump. Such a great Christian, supported by many Christians, him and Pence. And, uh, yeah. Hypocrites. Cafeteria Christian clowns, explain this. You suddenly hate gays who pay all parents welfare in many forms to overpopulate, but you ignore all these things, like your shellfish, which actually causes real suffering. And gays actually benefit society while paying you health care. Deadly sins. Yep, gays um, pay all parents welfare in many forms because they're childless. And don't overpopulate. We'll get to that later. Deadly sins. He represents them all. They liked it, the Antichrist. Here's Christians and their holy Bible. They're Christian clowns. Cafeteria Christian clowns. Suffering from group think. All thinking alike and accepting nonsense. And here's the cafeteria aspect of it. Cafeteria Christians. Remember the time God destroys Israelites for eating shellfish? Shellfish was supposed to be a sin. And this actually causes suffering, unlike gays, who they focus on for some reason. They have an obsession with. Next topic. You can't love animals and eat them. Yep, I love my animals. But I'll eat other animals. It's okay to date someone who loves animals and also eats them. Yeah, right. That's funny. It's because it's an okay Cupid subway ad. Or, oh my god, the Amazon is on fire. Or Australia. Those poor animals while eating a dead animal. And here's vegan hypocrisy. <laughs> Joking. Eating animal crackers and goldfish. That's a joke. Racism, speciesism, sexism, we're going to cover speciesism, valuing one species over another. Oh, I love a dog, 
but pigs, I'll eat them. I love their flesh. Um, you might as well eat dog meat free after a euthanize in shelters. They're already dead. You might as well eat the dog meats. <laughs> and I had this shirt made to call out their hypocrisy. Hot dogs made of dogs. Might as well eat them. Speciesism, it said at the bottom. Here's me with a sign and playing an audio, repeating some of this. Calling out all the hypocrites. Here's how animals are treated in factory farms. You can look up videos like meat.org and farm to fridge. Here's the eggs, females, living in those tiny cages over a day each. And it said, chicks love vegans. Cluck you, Chick-fil-A. Back to the Christians and their horrible morals. Next, on to the climate people, and we're still on the meat. Um, it's horrible for a lot of things, and it's one of the worst things for our environment. But also, climate criers, I'm calling you out. If you don't speak out against factory farming and the meat industry, or promote vegan, and prevent against the human overpopulation crisis, you're pissing in the wind. Read this, pause it if you need to, very important. We're not the only species, we just act like it. We're endangering many deforestation, overfishing, now sick fish farms like factory farms, wildlife nearly cut in half, population growth from 18, took all of time to 1800 to reach 1 billion, now nearing 10, only 250 years later. As you see, our population in all species endangered, growing drastically in that same time period. And the result is landfills, traffic, congestion, pollution. There was me a few years ago at the Today Show. Pets and people are overpopulated, so you can't just say I hate people. I care about both. Adopt then. We're both overpopulated. And continuing on the climate people who are not vegan, thus hypocrites. This is an important one too. All the, a lot of the water, a lot of deforestation related, and food waste and much more from animal eating. And regardless whether you believe in climate or not, um, we still should believe in conservation because these are the impacts. You can pause it to read it. Socialism. Oh, I hate socialism. So they say. Here's Band-Aid Bernie. Uh, and the lighting isn't working. But Band-Aid Bernie talking about health, universal health care without talking about our food system, which is connected. But here's Drama Queens. I consider myself libertarian. Fiscally. The military is the biggest waste. War machines, so unnecessary that we spend so much on that and the national debt as a result. But public college is socialism. So people are against colleges being free, and that's fine. But be consistent. What about socialist public schools? Why is it even called St. Paul if it's public? It shouldn't be named after a saint. School taxes. Me and my wife are childless by choice due to human overpopulation and other reasons. It doesn't matter the reason. Why should we not be able to opt out of socialist school taxes then, you anti-socialists who are silent about that? We pay $6,000 a year between our house in Texas and New York. $6,000 stolen a year to pay for other people's kids. Where are the anti-socialists? There's a 70 million dollar sports field for a high school in Dallas area. Then they get child tax credits, thousands a year, paid paternity leave, and much, much more. Family health care plans, same for two people or ten. So a couple, like me and my wife, pay the same as a family, and we're subsidizing them. Where are the anti-socialists about socialist public schools and not allowing us to opt out like health care? So I can use my money for health care. Food system, USDA farm bill. That's why it's a dollar or two sometimes for a burger and so much more for a salad. Subsidies, welfare subsidies. Uh, Republicans love this because they breed the most kids, as I covered just earlier, the welfare all parents are on. And they produce all the a lot of the animal products. 
That's why salad costs more backwards, destroying our healthcare system too. Like I said, with Band-Aid Bernie, you have to address the food system with the healthcare system or before it. So all these subsidies for your flesh. So don't claim to hate socialism when you're benefiting from it. Government cheat, buying out the cheeses. You can pause it to read it. It's not funny. Pause it to read it. And then they don't want no regulations after collecting our money. Wanting to cover it up, ag gag laws. So here's someone I schooled calling out Venezuela using the worst examples. And uh, I said, so can childless opt out of socialist school taxes and all the other breeder benefits and vegans opt out of subsidizing the meat industry, which will have over 250,000 stolen in our lifetime. So meatless and childless are basically fined or taxed. And he's like, no, most countries do it, so it's okay. Um, okay, so healthcare then, most countries do it, it seems, developed ones. As you saw there, you can pause it to read it, as well as this. So, fake anti-socialists who actually support socialism. I had him, he was attacking socialism, and at the end of our discussion, he was supporting it, um, but not admitting to it. So, pick a side, not your biases and what you benefit from. So, now to feminists, fake feminists who drink scary dairy. Look up dairy is scary video. Utter suckers. Paying people to force breed animals for them. Hitmen to rape animals. Here's a rape rack. It's called. Not your mom, not your milk. Go vegan. Leave them alone. Here's uh, the calves so we can steal the dairy. Baby calves. Yep. Here they are, all stuck in calf crates. Here they are in the calf crates. If you're killing babies. Real ones, sentient ones. And here's the nose piercings. Yep, it's so that they won't drink their mom's milk when they don't in the early stages when they're if they're not separated. You can pause that to read it. So it hurts mom, so they pull away. And they sell these online, obviously. There's companies selling them. Pus filled bodily fluids. You can pause it to read it. Animals aren't overpopulated, though, because we force breed them. I would call it moo to movement. Moo. Utter suckers. You're also your female bird's periods, eggs, which involve probably the most cruelty of any animal product. Males ground up alive, females a life in tiny battery cages. Because when they breed for more females to lay eggs, the, fem the males are destroyed because they're not the type for cooked flesh. They don't grow quick enough, big enough, fast enough, profitable. And the females are de-beaked and stuffed in tiny cages. This is de-beaking. And stuffed in tiny cages to live their life over a day per egg. Yep, exploiting females for their reproductive systems is not feminism. Fake feminist. And here's what they do to males sometimes. Uh, so they're not as aggressive. They castrate them. So don't talk about feminism if you're not if you're not vegan or at least uh, you're a hypocrite if you do. And overpopulation. So we're going to talk about human overpopulation and eating animals. Most crops feed force bred animals and are pooped out. Massive food waste, only cheap due to subsidies that I mentioned earlier, the socialist government funded meats. So world hunger groups, like he for international. If you're not promoting veganism, you're a hypocrite. Lip service, I always call it lip service liberals, but actually the righties are just as much. Hunters for life, yeah, you're so pro-life, like Donald Trump Jr. shooting elephants and endangered animals. And he's posing proudly with it to kill. Probably keeps a trophy, like a D-bag he is. And here's saying, a uh, cowboy hat guy, saying that uh, a woman is basically a host. Then they can simply remove what they want from their bodies. Only endangered species, embryos, matter. Most are terminated so early, they're the size of a pea or a grape. And they lie so much. And they hurt their own cause. Free birth control is in Colorado. Saves taxpayers tons and lowers termination rates, but religious nuts have no logic. And they don't even want small government. They lie about that, too. They're not for small government. And that's an elephant embryo on the right. Women can simply remove it if it's not her body. Six weeks, 
This is what they're trying to ban. Removal of a grain of rice. <laughs> Size does matter. <laughs> Ask any woman. But uh, they can simply remove it. Conception clowns and fake force pro-birthers. Leave women and animals alone. Vegans for choice. Leave women and animals alone. It's that simple. And I've had zero abortions. You guys kill daily. So you're fake pro-birthers. And here they are. Again, fake pro-birthers. Many death threats on this doctor. And actually, they've done thousands and thou hundreds of thousands of terrorist attacks on women's clinics. You can look that up. Southern Poverty of Law has the data. Over half a million kids in the foster care system, free and easy to adopt. They don't. So when they have the choice to be pro-life, like by being vegan, adopting, and much more, they aren't. And for guns, they say gun laws won't stop gun violence. Well, then why would... Um, um, anti-birth control laws. Keep it safe and legal. Yeah. Because it's going to happen regardless. More hypocrisy. Here's the kids in foster care. Yes, free and easy to adopt. That would be like a vegan not adopting a pet and going to a breeder. Stop having kids. Adopt then. Oh, wait, they can't use birth control. And they say abstinence. Well, married people want to have sex too, so shush. <laughs> and your religious nonsense. Yeah, I take the right on this son. And the P, again, removal. And just some other goofballs. Again, we said it takes more, more plants to make meat. The hat that triggers more people in the Trump hat. <laughs> but for logical, honest reasons and good reasons. So there you have it. Oh yeah, and they force breed, or force feed animals too like foie gras, duck, and force us to fund it. But they played a victim role. There you have it. <laughs> Neat, free, child-free, God-free, calling out the hypocrites of all sides. Share if you care.